we gonna do this time? We're going to the wasteland, baby. We're gonna make some wasteland scatter terrain and a damned cracked earth wasteland battle board. Get it ready. Deathcraft style. I'll show you how. Rock it. Right now. All right, to start this off, I uh, wanna sketch out how, how my scatter looks. So, uh, got this little dry erase board here, kinda sketch me out some stuff. I'm gonna use this big pink foam, baby. Foam insulation. There you go, I'm showing you now. Hacking it up, kinda gonna make it, kept my drawing around so I can see what I'm doing. Just hunk you, get a chunk out of there and just start slicing her and dicing her. Pick some of it out, you don't gotta be nice, you don't gotta be fancy. Just Crack it up, you're gonna chunk, cut some chunks out. You see I'm wedging it. Got me a big old knife there, beat the living hell out of it. That's what you do. Get them lines in there, beat it up, beat it up. Get that texture, baby. We do all kinds of stuff for texture here. It gets silly, silly. Hacking it out, beating it up. Beat it with the knife, hack it with the hedge of the knife. There you go, showing you how it's done. Pick a few more out, just gonna do my thing. We will run a bunch of aluminum foil over this bad boy too like we usually do for the texture. But there you go. That's kind of how it's going to set up. Looks sort of like that. There you go. See? Kind of matching my main thing. Showing you. There it is. Nothing hard. Anybody can do this. There you go. Kind of shows the layout. And there we go. Roll it on, baby. Texture, baby. Texture. Roll it on. Mm-hmm. Get that roll action going down there. Don't be nice. Be nasty. Dancing, dancing miles. All right, there you go, my favorite pizza box. Yep, that's what I'm going to use for the base of this because it's super thin, but it's super sturdy. Doing a lot of washes, though, so you got to make sure it dries real good. Then we just hot glue this bad boy down in the arrangement we had preset. There you go, glue it on. I'm going to decorate that base. We're going to take smaller chunks, see? Gluing around there. Anybody can figure that out. Same way, just the little pieces. Use the scrap you cut off the other pieces. That's all you got to do. Beat it. Beat it like it owes you money. There you go. Showing you real fast. Okay, folks. We got us a big old piece of pink styrene here. It's like 32 by about 25. Going to be 24. See these lines that come in it? So it's going to break up on us. So that's okay. What we're doing here is making our battle board. We got a hunk right here. I'm gonna do a shitload of this. this now I want to really crack this up so yeah get out all your aggressions in a bit. 
All right, so hot glue and these bad boys back together. Some hot glue and some either toothpicks, coffee stirs. I used some coffee stirs that were closer. You cut, it, break them up, push them between there. See that right there? It's me gluing around the coffee stirs. I've already pre-fit them with the other pieces, so there's like a little slot I can slide it into. There we go. Nothing fancy, just enough to keep that sturdy because we chopped all that shit off. So now that we're putting it back together, we want to make sure it's good and tight. And it's going to be fairly sturdy, and this is a battle board, so it's going to be on your board and using it as a play board, so it's not a big deal. It's going to be on a table. As long as you're swinging this thing around or beating somebody over the head with it, you ain't going to have a problem with it falling apart. Hot glue makes a good job on that. Just get it all glued up. Make it all fancy. There you go. Fit them back together. Definitely keep your pieces so you don't have to play puzzle piece try to get this, but you see I got some of them up a little higher and a little lower. It'll still sit pretty flat on the table. If not, you can put some feet on it. All right, now we go. You ain't black bombing it. You're black washing it. That's some uh, brown paint, a lot of brown paint, a little bit black, a little bit of red, a lot of water, and some sort of alcohol. I use Windex, nice and cheap. But see, just coat the whole thing. But we don't base coat this bad boy. This blacks it out enough and gives you enough text, enough shadow in there. So do the whole thing real good. Make sure you get in all the cracks. You might have to go back once it dries to do a little more, but this first step, you gotta let it dry fully. The rest you can wet paint. But this, you gotta dry fully. So, you know, it takes about eh, 20 minutes with the alcohol in there, it gets it good and dry. Alright, next step. Got a light brown, like a tan. Looks kind of gray on there, but it was tan, real light tan I mixed up. Just uh I used uh, burnt umber and uh, some white to get my uh, color, but that's a we're just stippling it on there with a sponge. That way we're going to see all that good cracks and stuff. Looks good. Blacking it. Don't worry about covering that uh, all the uh, lettering and stuff on there. It's fine. It'll hide it when you do layers. Next layer. All right, it's a light brown. It's like a nutmeg over the top of that tan. See. So you can see that dark through there, and we want, even if the pink shows a little bit, it's okay because it looks real good with the brown. Don't worry about it. Just stipple it all on there with your sponge. Easy sponge technique. And I'm just showing you how to paint the board. We painted all the stone, the scatter stuff, exactly the same way. The wash step, the light tan, then we did the nutmeg just like this. You don't need to see how to paint it because it's painting the same way. There you go. Showing you, getting the edges. Don't worry about the bottom because you're going to see that. Yeah, it's a little messy, so make sure you got room to work. I would have done a whole board, but now last step here is uh, just dry brushing this bad boy with some bone color. We boned it up. It brings all that texture out, and definitely in your scatter, it shows all that cool texture. There you go. Just bone it up. Just dry brush it messy. You can make, and you can do it, do it while that nutmeg still wet so you get a kind of wet blend when you're doing it so it kind of it's cool well that worked out all right not too bad not too bad indeed so we'll go to the picks show you with some figs on there worked out great i still got another piece of that battle board to do because i only did half it the paint up you see is only one half but it's a pretty damn good size so hang on a second so it's like we got plenty of room to run around and it's good and cracked up, so it looks awesome. But we'll go to the picks to show it to you a little closer. But yeah, just uh, just your uh, average old battle board. Back just looks like this, all beat up. We used glue to make sure it holds together underneath. But uh, if you make yours a little wobbly, you can uh, put a little feet or something underneath to, to even it out. But it should be fine. So try it out. Get ready. Go to the arid waste. Throw your players into the deep end. Well, probably no water since it's air, but deep nonetheless. Catch you next time. Deathcraft style.